Out of breaking news in St. Petersburg, the bomb squad now in possession of this, a World War II era explosive device. But just before they were called in, people were tossing it around, not quite understanding the potential danger they were in. ABC Action News reporter Michael Paluska is live for us along 45th Avenue North to explain what's going on. Michael. Brendan, police responded to the home behind me just after 5 o'clock this afternoon. They evacuated all of the homes in the immediate vicinity of this home. But what people are more concerned about and curious about is the fact of how this alleged bomb ended up in this neighborhood, in this home behind me, to begin with. And I seen it when the guy had it in his hand and they were playing with it. Michael, who wouldn't give us his last name, told us he called St. Petersburg police to get the device just after 5 this afternoon. It was designed to do something. It was designed to kill people, and that's exactly what it was made for. Michael says he brought it to the neighborhood after his co-workers at Bob Lee's Tire Company were tossing it around the building. According to Michael, one of the owners of the company recently died, and they were going through a box of his old stuff. When Michael saw the device, he realized it wasn't a toy. I went and I told you, just give me that. It's like, I want, you don't understand what it is. Right. You need to just leave it alone. I took it from them, put it in a box of styrofoam packaging. Homes were evacuated for more than four hours. Neighbors were frustrated. One woman we spoke to off camera asked why he thought he should bring it here from work and then risk blowing up the neighborhood. Work all day, sweating, and then I got to stand out on the street with my neighbors being pissed off at me. Because what do you do with it? You don't throw it in the garbage can. I mean, somebody else might get hurt. You don't know if it's real or not. Let the people that deal with that stuff take it and dispose of it. It's the right thing to do with it. And it took the MacDill Air Force Base EOD team about four and a half hours to get out here. They took the bomb, they took it back to base, and they're going to safely detonate that tomorrow. We're live here in St. Petersburg. Michael Paluska, ABC Action News.